It's a view that used to be limited to the Olympic elite. Oh my. Now shared by the most amateur athletes. How do I correct? Virtual reality headsets giving those like me the true championship experience without ever breaking a sweat. Before, you can actually uh, experience the games as a spectator, but now you can actually feel what it's like to uh, experience the games as an athlete. Helmet cameras are taking bobsled fans on a high-speed thrill ride. Cross-country skiers armed with GPS-enabled sensors offering play-by-play -play on their location and view through an app. Inside this ice skating rink, 60 cameras are mounted to document every spin and every jump from every angle. This is the heart of your Olympic operations. What are we looking at here? Yes, this is a very important place. We call this place as Technology Operation Center. The 5G wireless network connects all of these Olympic experiences using technology that transmits data up to 20 times faster than 4G. While current speeds allow us to make calls, send text messages, and browse the internet, the next generation adds on the potential for connected devices. That means smart homes, smart healthcare, and yes, smart cars. Connecting all things and almost real time response. The Olympics mark the first real test for 5G, but companies like SK Telecom are already looking beyond the games. How far in the future are we right now? Uh, we are targeting around uh, 2047. Its Information and Communications Technology Center in Seoul doesn't just simulate long-term applications for 5G, but those in the near future. Autonomous cars that allow you to shop while you drive, an operation room equipped with AR and a robotic arm to conduct surgery remotely. 5G technology isn't just about connecting all these devices. The high-speed network also allows you to be transported into a meeting room virtually. The sheer possibilities leading to a global race to commercialize 5G within the next year. How many years until we see the full potential of 5G? I think maybe it will take so more than one year. From the experience of our 4G, we almost completed the nationwide coverage of 4G uh, around one year. But for 5G, it's very hard. Hard? Although not as challenging, perhaps, as this non-hockey-playing reporter trying to play goalie at the Olympics.